Hello. Uh, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you need to know how to reflash your DaVinci 1.0 back to the stock firmware. We're going to be doing this without needing to open the uh, DaVinci uh, printer. Uh, this will all be done uh, through software. Uh, to do this, you'll need the latest um, Arduino IDE installed, which we already have installed here. Um, once that's installed, you're going to uh, go ahead and search for BOSAC in the uh, programs file, and you'll copy that to an easy-to-use location. I would suggest just C or something to that effect. Um, the root of your C drive is is probably the easiest place to do this. Uh, then you can go ahead and uh, get your firmware. Um, there's a, a good place to do it is the uh, uh, firmware software repository uh, and that is uh, at the Voltivo forums. Let's see if I uh, know where it's at here. Of course I, I don't. Um, let's see if we can find this real quick. Desktop software related. Uh, anyway, I will... Um, there we go. XYZ software repository. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, put a link up to this. Um, so you'll have to download uh, a firmware. I use the uh, 1.1G. That seems to be the most user-friendly, the most stable, and f for what it is, it has the best prints. So I'm going to go to Tools in the Arduino IDE. I'm going to pick my port. It's already port. I'm going to go to Serial Monitor. Um, I'm going to connect that co at 1200 baud. Alright. And that should... That should race my... Uh, yep, see that? Installing new device driver software. So, that has pretty much erased my uh, firmware just connecting at 1200 and shutting off so now at this current time I have a empty flashed DaVinci 1.0 alright so on the also on the uh, Voltivo forums I uh, myself and another person has uh, posted the BOSAC uh, command to actually go ahead and get this uh, get this flashed and all I'm gonna do is copy whoops because I'm using this this exact file and I've, like I said I've already done this before and they're all in the right spot I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go to all programs go to accessories maybe there we go and then go to command prompt and I'm gonna go to C whoops alright we'll do this CD dot dot CD dot dot alright and I wanna paste this paste And I want to change my COM port to COM port, what was it, 21? 21. Make sure we go back to my end of my line here. Uh, no device found on COM 21. Poo. What was that again? Twenty-two. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Twenty-two. 
twenty twenty two. And it is now flashing back to uh, DaVinci firmware. I just heard the uh, DaVinci kind of fire up. DaVinci. Ready to use. Now, if you uh, want to actually put your um, printer information back into it, there's a couple of things you have to do. Um, I don't, I'm not going to go into those, and by printer information, um, I mean the actual. Uh, serial number and so on and I did have to go through a little bit of a reboot there I had to shut it off it was and turn it back on it was uh, just doing the little beepy thing now I'm gonna go ahead and launch my uh, XYZ wear Try that again. We'll launch my XYZware and we'll see what happens here. I wonder if it, uh, well, I'm not sure if it'll work with the uh, non serial numbers. Hey, there we go. And here's just a, <coughs> this is the very first um, XYZware that came on the CD. I never updated it. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Never updated it, never did anything like that. And this is just kind of proof that it is a uh, repeater host. Because um, obviously I'm launching XYZ where it's saying update repeater. Well, I don't want to. So anyway, settings. Let's close. Um, let's go to information device not found. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So let's uh All right, well then, um yeah, I'm not sure about that. It should be installed. Go back to my device manager. I suppose I'll do a teeny tiny bit more uh, uh, let's uh, just shut it off and restart it actually Okie dokie then. Well, the XYZ is XYZ where is uh, is definitely installed. Uh, I can't actually show you the 
uh, printer face because of the because of the way I'm recording this with the fraps, but it uh it definitely did install. The printer comes up with X Y Z where I'm sure that I have to uh, I'm sure that I have to put in my printer um, serial number. Alright, well there we go. Now it's actually connecting. And it's saying that I have a problem with my cassette because I don't have one in there. Because I don't use one. So anyway, all I did, I did not have to reinstall my uh, printer software or my printer um, serial number. All I had to do is shut my printer off and turn it back on. So if I put in my cartridge, I could at this point in time print. So, I hope you found that useful. As always, please uh, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Uh, just get this out there. Uh, hopefully it's useful. Hopefully people can, uh, can do a little bit more with their printers than what they want to. And again, it should be, should be fairly straightforward a at any time. Go ahead and go to port. Now I'm just going to do a quick reflash here. I'm going to go back to... Uh, back to what I want to run. So I'm going to went ahead and I changed my port to port 3. I'm going to go back to my serial monitor, 1200 baud. I'm connected. I'm disconnecting. Uh, I wonder if that worked. It honestly does not look like it did. Oh, I suppose that would help. There we go. Close my XYZ wear so that it actually can uh, open the port. I'll even change the baud rate and change it back. Do a send, close out. Nope, that's not working. So it does seem that I would have to uh, uh, go ahead and hit those jumpers again. I uh, hit the jumpers in the back of it to erase it. Not a big deal. I don't mind that one bit. All right. Again, please. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, morning, day, afternoon, week, month, year, life. See you.